Hi everyone. Let's uh, use GeoGebra for surface of revolution to create 3D surfaces like some 3D shapes. It's pretty easy. So I'm going. I'm using a GeoGebra Classic 5. So first of all, I need to insert one image. So you need to go to Edit and Insert Image from your file. So once you selected your image, you can use it and you should adjust it. So I'm adjusting it like by rotating and making it on X axis. And then based on its size, you can drag your points to adjust your image. So and then we will try to put this image as a background. So if you click on object properties, so go to basics and click on background image because now you can see the coordinates and the x-axis y-axis properly and the image is well placed in the background you can adjust points to make it bigger or smaller so it's a symmetrical image so the x-axis will work as a principal axis of rotation now I, I need to use points because I, I, I will create a function, I will create a curve around this edge. So click on points and uh, try to place on its boundary. I'm going to use uh, two curves actually on its edge. So you can see till this point I'm going to use one part, second part will be the Further. You can use one, but it will be better if you use this. Now we will, we will add sliders. I'll tell you the reason why we are adding sliders. Because I will need for my limits for left value and then right value. For example, uh, this uh, slider I'm going to use as my degree of polynomial of the edge. So I can set from 0 to 10 as my degree of polynomial with increment 1. So in the same way you can create different sliders. I have created few. One slider I need for angle because I want to rotate the curve. So you can type as an angle or spin as you wish from 0 to 360. So everything is done. Now what we need to do uh, we we need to create a curve along its edge so the command is fit poly when you type fit it should appear automatically fit poly so it will ask you list of points and degree of polynomial so I'm gonna use from point C to K so you can enter with comma caps on and until you enter the last point after that uh, we need to enter the degree of polynomial so the degree I'm using as P okay once you press enter now you can adjust your degree of polynomial it will give you the perfect match with the edge for example P5 is pretty good so I'm going to use degree 5 for my polynomial for that edge now because I have an extra curve which I don't need so I'm using another command function function which will restrict my function actually from one value to another so I'm going to use my sliders a and b for my function f and now I can adjust my sliders like a is for my left value of my function for example yes it's approximately zero I believe and b should be something around about four something 4.3 and now we can hide these points okay you can adjust if you want yes you can do that and uh, we can hide these points so we can hide yep now you can see only the curve from one value to another now let's do for the second part in the same way so put some points on its edge so three four points will be enough and then the same command fit poly I'm going to use 
remember when you type fit it should appear automatically fit poly it will give you a polynomial curve fit poly so list from l to p and then the degree the degree is e i added one more slider here so e degree uh, the polynomial degree is e i'm using here for the second part of the curve and then in the same way we can use a function to restrict from one point to another i'm using my another slider c and d for my function h h is the function which we created from fit poly now we can adjust to see from where to where we want so it's a 4.3 something and then d is something around 6 or whatever you can check it out and then we can hide it and adjust the degree to get the smooth curve so the degree is 4 for that part the first part degree is 5 p is 5 so degree is 5 and now we can see in the 3d view so if you go to view and press 3d view you should be able to see uh, two graphics one is for your two dimensions and th second one is for three dimensions you can adjust it you can see the curves the edges actually of your object whatever you take and now the most important command is surface surface will create the surface of revolution so surface you need to select your function angle and then x-axis or y-axis so for first part and then second part we'll do the same so another time surface function you choose uh, the the another function for the second part which is q and uh, spin is the rename of angle along x-axis so once you press enter remember spin is the angle of rotation x-axis is the principal axis of rotation so we can see these things and now we can adjust the colors if you want so you can double click on there and go to object properties change their color and style so i'm going to use orange shade with the 100 percent opacity with the style line thickness zero because i don't want to see the lines and similarly you can adjust for the second part we can use a light shade for that and uh, style again line thickness zero yeah you can adjust how dark or light you want so one once it's done you can spin it and to see the surface created along with this wow see it's pretty much very similar to our image so you can see it and you can rotate it to see from other perspective so you can see how the 3d surface is created from your polynomial functions using GeoGebra 3d and the command used surface surface is the important command here function or fit poly are the other things like based on the object so you can hide the boundaries and then you can see it's like very very similar to the real object of course you can adjust your points your limits to see and to adjust your function so remember the command was surface i'm repeating here surface so there are three four options so you should always use a surface with the function and then angle and then the axis of rotation so you should try it so remember for the first part of the curve i'm uh, using uh, a and b as my sliders for um, the le left limit and right limit and p is the degree of polynomial okay for the second part i'm using c and d as the limits and e as the degree of polynomial and you can see spin is the angle of rotation okay so let me show you from an another perspective when you spin it okay let's see here yeah spin it now you can actually show and you can see it the real object is a surface of revolution and you can create a 3d object so please try and uh, 
leave your comments if you have any give me any feedback thanks for watching bye